Good morning. Welcome this morning to prayers that light our path. Our verse this morning comes from Isaiah 6, verses 8 and 9. And the Bible tells us, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. You know, at times we've all wondered why we've been unable to discern God's will. Could it be that we haven't taken the time to find out what He wants in a source that's already available to us? Could it be that He's not told you more about what He wants in your life or that He's not giving you more direction because you're not doing what God already wants you to do or has told you to do? You know, over the years, I believe that God has spoken to me about entering the ministry, but I resisted. I had a career that I loved a career that I was able to care for others in times of need and I just couldn't see making a change that late in life. I thought I was happy. Then one day in September, about eight years ago, God led me to a wonderful place, a church that was filled with God's love for others. God made a way for me to become involved in the ministry of that church. I led the liturgical portion of the worship service. I worked with the other ministries of the church. And then in September, about three years ago, God revealed to me that He wanted me to do more. This time, God didn't back away. He said, Gary, you're going to do what I ask you to do. The next Sunday, we sang a song, a song that said to me, I am the Lord of snow and rain, and I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for them, they turn away. I will speak my word to them, but whom shall I send? My answer, my answer came to that calling, I think, in these words, Here I am, Lord. It is I. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. The next march, after a short journey, I was appointed by the bishop to my first church. My friends, that is truly the work of God in our lives, and in my life in particular. We reflect God's love back to Him by hearing and by learning His commands and by acting on His commands and putting them into action. It's not enough just to accept the love of God that He has given to us so freely. It's not enough just to reflect God's love back to Him through obedience. But we must also demonstrate God's love to the world by loving others. Pray with me this morning. God, we know you're calling us to go. Some of us call to the nation, some just to a neighbor's house. You are calling all of us to say, Here I am, Lord, send me. God, send us to those who are in need of hearing your love story, whether it's a parent, a co-worker, a child, or a checkout clerk whoever and whenever, open our spirit to listen to your voice when you tell us to go. Father, hear our prayer this morning. Amen. My friends, God is always speaking to us if we just take the time to listen. Spend time with God every day. He will reveal things to you that will cause you to have joy, happiness, and peace. He did it for me, and He can do it for you. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, blessed, and happy day. God be with you.
because always remember, God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. Be safe.